Hello, it's me. Okay, I'm gonna teach you guys a little bit about the editor today for Gene Rally. Um, comes with the game if you want it. You just download the game, get the editor. Idiot. Okay, so first things first, um, I'm gonna just point and click things and show you things. It's gonna be great for things. Okay, so right here we have the new button. The new button will create a new track. Uh, right now, my track is named Biet, but um, when you make a new track, it'll assign it a new name. There's like a, like a random generator for it. So, anyway, there's a window right here, and you can't see it because OBS sucks, and I'm not recording my whole screen because I don't want you to see all the dojins I have unzipped because that would be bad. So, anyway, I'm going to just explain it. So, we have water level, which is water level. What can you say? Um, it's a static number. So,. Um, let's just say you set water to 50. All the water will be at 50. You can't really make lakes, as far as I know. Like, have water at different positions. You kind of just have one giant thing, so think of it like sea level. Uh, you have view angle, which is... Um, let's see. Okay, so if you were looking directly down at the track, that would be 90 degrees. Uh, but by default it's set at 60, so you can adjust that curve uh, however you like. There's rotation, which is uh, uh, this should be pretty obvious. Like this, it's the whole track is a giant square, and you can rotate the square around. I think let's see, 360 degrees. Let me see. Yeah, you can rotate it 180 or minus 180. Uh, zoom is zoom. How zoomed in you want the camera to be on the track. And then there's world size. Default's 120, but you can make it like 255, which is fucking humongous. Um, and then there's the start finish line. That's just a checkbox. Uh, so if you want the line displayed, you check it. If you don't want it displayed, you don't check it. Um, I don't know why that's not under properties. Well, I suppose it is. This is just okay. This is a template for creating a new track. So I guess I don't really have to explain track properties. Okay, anyway, then there's author, you type your name, and then there's author, comments, whatever. Okay, so load, uh, loads your track, save, saves your track, launch Gene Relay, this is actually really convenient. Um, so, when you save, when you click save here, yeah, yeah, okay, there's like errors. Uh, a window pops up, wants you to save it into your tracks or whatever. I'll save it into the work in progress folder, I just have to remember to actually do that instead of being an idiot. So, um, so when you launch Gene Rally and uh, after you save the game, then you can just like jump in and play it immediately, which is awesome. So um, track properties—that's exactly what new is, except instead of a new track, now you can just edit them, you know, from your existing track if you need to tweak something. So that's always good. Uh, import AI line. So the AI line is um, I suppose I could just draw a simple one. Okay. So if I were to open the game right now. Uh, these are starting positions, and the AI would zip right to the edge of this red line, which I can adjust here. I can tell it where I want it to be. <laughs> and then they will race this. They'll think that this is the track, and they, they don't know better. So, um, anyway, obviously I don't want to have it set like that. That's not going to be my track, but that's what it does. And you can import it. You can... Uh, click this button and then find a track and then it will take the AI line from that track. Let's see, let's go ahead and I'm gonna import it from my old track. Oh it can't okay, nice. Can't find the ghost lap. Can you find this ghost lap? Can't find that ghost lap. Okay, fuck's sake. Okay, so you can import land most likely. Oh, it's a bitmap. Okay. Uh yeah, so if you draw like a a bump, um you can just import it. Uh, so, like, if you want to draw it in paint, you can do that, for example. And then, uh, same kind of goes for height. Height is also a bitmap, which you can import or export. And that's there's a there's a special tool for that that I actually have open right now. It's the H map editor, which is height map. And uh, I'll be I'll be showing that off as well. It's a separate tool that you have to download. But anyway, import export undo. Um, so anyway. You have those, this, um, if you make adjustments, so I might as well show a little adjustment here. So right right there I just adjusted the height map. So this is a this is a big 
hilly donut. I could make like a little crevice in here. There's my water. Um, so if I were to launch the game, this would this would be like a, a crater basically. Um, but if you don't want any of that, you just press that and flatten it and get that shit out of here. So delete object. Uh, you have objects here that you can create, and they'll just make a a soft wall right there. So you come over here, click delete object, boom, you're done. And then you can double click this to or click and unclick, click and click it, blah, blah. Okay, so anyway, um, here you have primarily roads and road hazards. Um, and then you get into things like adjust, like the height map, checkpoints, limiters, where your pit crews are, special objects, and then the AI line and the pit line. Um, so brush size uh is the road so here this is it's by default it's on three so just like this very nice I should be able to undo that yep good so there's a track um if I wanted it to be like fucking massive I could make it massive um the so how one question you might be asking how do you know how big a track is supposed to be well you don't <laughs> Um, one kind of good rule of thumb to go by is how big the uh, the starts are. These are the starts. This is your positioning when the race begins, and um, I think you set those here. So, like, um, this is about the size of a Formula car. About approximately, I think they're a little wider. Uh, because they're they're going to be facing to the right here, so I think they're a little bit wider, but um, it's hard to say for sure. One thing you should do is just experiment, like draw draw something right away, find out how big it is, see if you like it. If you don't like it, come back to the brush, adjust, do your thing, just like that. So, um, but for I think, let's see, for the snow track that I made, I think it was right here. I put it like right below half. So that's brush size. Um, so then you have rope length. So rope length um, is it, it, it has to do with the brush. And think of it like if if you have a rope, right, and you you drag something tied to the rope around in a circle. You know, it's not the rope isn't going to follow you perfectly. It's going to affect the thing that you're dragging. So. I'll crank it up to half. I'll or well, actually, I'll show this first, even though I kind of just showed it. So this is just like free draw, whatever you know, ch as choppy as I want it. Uh, when you turn up the rope length, now everything's like smoother, and you can still make crazy nutty uh, like turns with it, kind of like like that, if you really wish to. Oh shit! Well, that's there forever. <laughs> um. Yeah, if, I mean, if you want to, but um, the the point is is to to try to use the brush to make things smooth. So, I'm just gonna turn that all the way down. Come back up here. Go to grass. And just draw over this. I'm not gonna use this. I think I got all of it. Okay. So uh, generally, I leave it right in the middle. I mean, if you really want really fine uh, curves and whatnot, then you crank it up. If you don't, crank it down. But usually, you want to try to draw your track in one go. At least in this tool, like if if you do it in a bitmap, it's different. But that's how I try to do it. So anyway, then uh, height land. I believe this is just the base height. Like this right here is zero. This is kind of in the middle, and then this is like now it's really high up. So if you want, you can play with that. You know, to make bigger mountains or uh, like valleys in your track or whatever. You can easily peasily do that if you wish okay so um, then we have check boxes here we have show objects which is obvious uh, these count as objects the starts you have show checkpoints which I don't have any show limiters I don't have any AI lines don't have any and then you have zoom you only have a 2x and a 4x zoom these come in handy uh, when you're fine-tuning when you're in, when you're placing objects and stuff like that and they, they're pretty dang handily dandily so um all right let's let's go ahead and design something so I'm just gonna think of something really fast in my brain and 
just kind of draw it, and it's not going to be anything particularly fantastic, but I'm just going to do it uh, real quick here. Let's see. Uh, let's do something like... Oh, shit. <laughs> I already fucked it up. My mouse is, like... I, I don't know if I'd say shaky. It's it's just fucky. Um, and I'm an idiot. There's always that, too. So, Alright. Something like this. Oh, that one outside. My bad. Okay. I should start a little higher. Alright, and then in. Kind of like that. And then we'll do pits right here, because I did this on accident. So, um, <laughs> yeah, that looks like ass. Let's see if we can do it out of this turn, maybe, like this. And have this be pits. Like, that just, it's so bulbous, but, as uh, that's my bad for being a stupidy dum dum. I I couldn't connect it properly. So, um, yeah, you you don't really. I mean, you can you can fill all of this up with scenery. But uh, earlier I was complaining and saying I hate when people leave so much o open room and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I hate it. I'm gonna <laughs> fucking redo it. Okay, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna attempt to use up as much as I can here. Oh. Too high. Sorry, my bad. It doesn't matter really. You don't want to have like the whole track sticking out up there or anything like that. Oh, that was sharp. Okay. Oh, not bad. Okay, so this will be narrower now. That's the only problem. And I, for some reason, I'm a big fan of these hairpins here. So. Anyway, we'll make a little side area here, and uh, hopefully that's wide enough to be the pits. Let's see, we could probably tweak this a bit. Alright, something like that. Just to make it look a little bit better. And then right here, uh, you can trim. Like, I, I can attempt to do it. All you do is you come back to grass, and... Uh, just kind of, this is something you kind of have to get used to, but uh, let's see. It's, it's tricky. Even I have trouble. Holy shit! Did you see my mouth? What the hell? What was that shit? Okay. All right. I mean, it's it's noticeable, but I'm just gonna leave it. So, um, okay. So, a, a quick rule of thumb here: if you want your background to be like mud or gravel or sand or anything else, you you need to set that early you, because now I can't do anything with this back layer at all. So, I'm not going to try to clean that up either. It is what it is. Alright, so, anywho, there's that. That's, that's out of the way now. Um, so, there's the, your basic track. Um, one thing that I would recommend, personally, is, one, saving often. Uh, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and save this in the whip folder. I'm just going to name it, like, demo, demo whip. And you might want to have a couple versions as well, because if you if you make a big mistake and you save over your old work in progress, or you know if you uh, I don't know make make some type of fatal flaw, whatever it be, where you need to go back, then you have that option. Now I'm not saying you know alternate your saves every save you can do one save one for a while and save another for a while and save another for a while because sometimes you do need an older version if you wanted to you could just save as many files as you want every time you save make a new one call it a new work in progress you know? but I tend to save a lot so uh, anyway 
I'm just gonna leave it grass. I had an idea to make it sand because I was somewhat inspired by that one track, uh, like this the beach track. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this. I'm there. I'm gonna put uh, a strip of water right here though. So maybe I will. I will put in some sand here. Okay, so I'm gonna actually turn the brush off now. Well, I'll leave it on like right here. Go to sand and uh, just kind of drag here like this, I like that. Okay, so this this will be like a beach, and then I'll have like water right here. But I'm not. I could adjust it with uh, the height map adjust. I'm not going to. Um, I'm gonna just use the editor purely for that. Okay, so, um, hold on, one sec. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that in the other program. So, suggestion here is um, you're you want to have an idea what you're doing with your pits uh, because if you if you try to kind of just throw it in at the last second, I learned that it's not so good and you can end up having kind of a, a crappy looking pit area or whatever. So, what I'll do right now is come down to ob oh wait. Do it? No, it's pit crew. My bad. Okay, so uh, these these guys stance kind of kind of odd. Um, they stand in. I I think it's a group of eight. I'm not really too sure, but um, at the so right now you can see it's not on the on the inside of this blue circle. It's not a square. There's an open end on that box. So on the top end. Uh, there's one guy missing, and on the bottom end, there's an extra guy. So, on the snow track that I made, it works well. You know, you can get in there, and it and really it doesn't matter if you hit any. If you're if you are pitting, you know, as long as you get into the blue radius there, it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter who you're hitting. In fact, they might even slow you down a little bit. And then when when you're done, they they make a formation, and so they let you leave, so you don't hit anybody. That was Kitty, by the way. She's being an idiot again. What do you expect? Fucking classic bullshit. Okay, so, um, so however many you make is up to you. I think there's kind of an uh, a hard limit. Not sure on that, but I think there's it's like six. Holy shit! Shut up! I don't want to see any fur affinity shit. I think it's six. Let's find out. I'm gonna save first. Yes. Okay. Demo. Work in progress. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you can't make any more. Can I delete? Yeah, there's delete picker right here, so I can make as many as I want. Okay, so anyway, um, if you right click, you can angle this uh, the pit crew, however way you want it. Uh, if you want, if you want like an an entry, so let's. I'm gonna make the track go like this. So let's just say I want the pit crew to be open, like right, right here, like like this and then I want another one right here like this and then I want another one like a little straighter like this you can actually click while you're holding right click um, so I just kind of am in the habit of adjusting by eye and then saying okay you know that's good and then releasing and then coming back to the general area and then clicking so um, this this isn't primo design right here so, for example, if someone were coming, you know, around the track here, and they're the last one in line, and everyone's in the pit, and they come up here, and you know, they uh, they get this pit, then they're gonna have to like kind of swerve in and then angle themselves well if they want to be able to make it back out onto the track, uh, or at least the direction of the pit crew kind of will like trick your brain into doing that. Maybe it's just my brain, but the only reason I did this is because it looks nice along the edge here, but um, 
we'll see. One of the one of the things that you have to do is uh, is is play test. It's it's very important that um, since you don't have a team, well, unless, unless you do, unless like you have all your bros over and you're all getting your gene rally on, um, it's important that you test yourself and you make sure that it works and you you jump through the hurdles and you do everything that you need to do so um this is actually bothering me so i'm gonna get rid of this shit real quick okay fuck off last fm thank you for notifying me that i listened to the beach boys earlier so we have grass let's just click there it's gone okay great i'm gonna lower that right there oh sir hello come on there Okay, so there's that, and um, I, I guess I will, for the most part, just show um, like other things here, other options. So if you want, you can draw a line. If you want, I tried to press uh, Control Z. That key doesn't work. So this actually, this brush size is affected. Or this, sorry, the white line is affected by brush size. If you want like a really skinny one, you could make one. Like, here. If you want it, there it is. If you want a really fat one, you could make it. If you want an average one, usually it's like you want to match it up with whatever, uh, whatever size you're using. And it'll usually work out pretty well. But you'll have to experiment with that yourself. So, um, if you right click it gives you a dotted line same thing with the yellow you, know, you can do the dotted line that's what I did and then the curb curb is um, it's the red and white so there's that and then I've never tried to right click so let's see ooh okay that's nice that looks good I never knew that it was like that okay so oil um, this works in like splotches so you kinda just like click and there's a splotch. I I don't think right click does anything, but yeah, you kind of just have to click around with this. Uh, that looks like shit, so I'm gonna get rid of that. But I will I will put some oil here. Let's see where's where's a place where it's tricky. So I know on Agari, the very first track, um, it's it's kind of in a bullshit spot to be honest. Um, like you basically treat the oil like a turn you would never go through it so let's see around this corner and then like maybe right here this is this is a little evil just a little bit but like if you're if you're trying to like adjust out of this turn you're kind of fucked like you need to get you need to be optimal here i guess so some people for some reason they like to put oil inside the pits. I don't know what the hell is your guys' problem. Why would you do that? Um, I would never. I, how dare you? Absolutely how dare you. Okay, so there's that. Um, let's see. Maybe for this like hairpin right here, I'll go ahead and put in a curb. So, zoom in. Let's go ahead and save too, just in case we make some fatal mistake. Uh, hello? Where's my curb? Oh. Okay, well good thing I uh I did that. Okay, maybe we should adjust this to like two or three. Okay, no, I don't do that then. I guess just put it at zero and draw it. Oh shit. Okay. Yet I have a steadier hand than I. And really it's just this fucking mouse. Like I don't know what it is. Honestly, I think it's just the cord, the weight and the cord and the laser on the bottom. I use like trackballs forever. And then here we are with this fucking shit. Fucks me in the ass. Okay, so uh, that's just to show. Like, I, 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 it doesn't serve any function. You can use these strategically. Like, okay, if there's if there's a curb, you know, you need to uh, you need to take this turn at this rate. Like, you can use it for signaling. You can use it. You know, you can place it over here, so like, you know, if you're trying to take a corner really fast, you can go out onto the curb and, you know, use it as extra tarmac or whatever. They, in go-karting, they cut over it. They just, they fucking drive right on it. So you can do that if you want. You know, however however you wish to use 
uh, the tools is up to you. So, um, so anyway, let's see. Well, I guess I'll show a couple other things because these do have alternates as well. So tarmac one is uh, this, and then you can actually go underneath. Well, maybe I'm wrong. It just creates a different color. I think it's this one that goes underneath. Yeah, it is. And I think it has. It's a. It's a little bit different in terms of how your car handles on it I think I'm not sure on that um, and really well let's are they the same color no this one's a little lighter um, so as, as far as I know the yellow is the same just a different color tarmac 2 I think it is lighter and it is harder to, to grip on and then I think you're supposed to use tarmac 2 as like oh I missed my turn and now I'm out in the tarmac or in the in the less grippy road or whatever. So uh, grass, I think, is very similar. Mud, you can draw under if you want to, or over. Oh shit! Yeah, that's why you save. Uh, gravel. Let's see if we can do a gravel. Yeah, we can do the gravel. Same without saying. Yeah, you can go under. Cool. So I could make this a beach track, but I won't. I'll, I'll make it like grass with the beach over here. Like I said earlier, because that'll give me an excuse to use the map. So um, I'm not sure if left click and right click alter performance for every single track. That's something that you guys would have to look into. I haven't I haven't gone that nuts with it. Uh, I've only made a couple of tracks with this editor. So um, anyway, uh, let's see. So it would probably be a good idea to place objects as well, because I said I was going to jump right over into the. Uh, the HMAP editor, and I guess I will just to spice things up a little bit. So, also when, when you save, like this track is not complete. This is not ready for the game. Uh, it says there's a little warning window here. It says uh, track has following flaws that should be fixed. Lap can't be completed. Checkpoints or create checkpoints. So I I am missing uh, checkpoints as they're called. <coughs> AI drivers don't know how to drive. Create AI driving line. AI drivers don't know how to get to the pits. Create AI pit driving line. AI can't find their way to some pits. Move pits closer to AI pit line. Would you like to save anyway? And I always just click yes. So, okay. So anyway, we're gonna we're gonna put that on hold for right now. And uh, this what? This is the same window. Hold on a sec. I gotta adjust this. Okay. This should be this. What the hell? Refresh. Come on. Give it to me. There it is. Okay, so, uh, okay, I guess it doesn't want to give it to me. I have to create a new window. Forgive me here. The fuck is happening? This is HMAP editor. Okay, there it is. Nice. Click. Wow, there it is. For some reason, it actually showed up. It's amazing. Okay, so, here's the HMAP editor, uh, which I'm going to send to the bottom of the slave dungeon. So I want my sources organized. Okay, so this thing, um, you rub your nose when you use it for good luck. So this thing's got a, a, a bunch of shit. It's all grayed out right now, so I'm just going to ignore it. Uh, first thing you want to do is you go to this little folder, or you can go to File up here in the toolbar. I know you guys can't probably see it, but you go to Open Track. And you open up your track, and bada bing, bada boom. Can you even see the one on the right? Hold on, what the fuck's going on? You can't. Uh, that's whack. Okay, can I multiple layered windows? Maybe that would help. Let's see here. Nope, doesn't fucking work for some reason. That's a little stupid. Uh, okay, that's that's odd. I don't I don't know why that's happening. At all. There is something over here on the right. Maybe if I hold on. What is this? That's the editor. This is the HMAP editor. What the fuck? Okay, well that's weird. There's there is a, a window over there on the right, I promise you, and it shows the track. The fuck is happening here? Okay, how about what if we just did this? Like see if this fucking does it. We'll do monitor capture. Monitor one. Yes, 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 yes. Fuck off. Okay, here's all this shit. So now you can finally see it at long last. I I just I can't fucking believe it. Why? Why are programs like this? Okay, so this is this is not grass. This is the H map. 
this is the actual level here and it looks like I missed a little spot right here so this is just a a bump a bitmap um, it has properties so the editor recognizes when I for instance when I select tarmac 1 it knows okay this road has this grip and this is gonna do this and yada 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 so um, but really all it is right now is just pixels so and it's projected onto this uh, surface here so anyway we've got tools sorry I got it I have to check I just have to make sure everything's a-okay here uh, it looks like it is okay so um, so we got tools here this is a uh, track this is H map this what the fuck is this I forget what this is this is land image so I guess if you want to open up a, uh, a BMP or whatever that's that's where you do it okay so right here is water level and we'll, we'll tweak that in just a sec uh, this is world size this is just a, a drag here cursor this is mask and editing restrictions I I never have really messed around with this I have come in here and like drawn with the highlighter and it never really seemed to do anything that I thought it was gonna do so I just left it alone uh, and then right here this is this is your actual these are the tools that you will edit with so I'll give you one fine example right now and by that I mean awful example okay look at that I just drew with a square now you can see over here that the H map has changed so that's what the game sees when you draw like that uh, when when the game looks for height it just notices that these fluctuations in color and I mean it's it's not looking for color but you know it's looking for a change in data there so that's what determines height so um, that was a very basic tool that is just an increase decrease up down you can change it to like this smooth circle here if you want to make it a little prettier it's kinda hard to notice there you can make it a circle you can you know you can draw over here too if you want to oh shit I missed big time you can, you can do whatever you want so there's that now this is the smooth sharpen so uh, for instance if I want this I can now come through and smooth it and now it looks great uh, this is there tell me what it is this is set level so let's just say I decide to raise the land this high right okay well then you right click here with this tool selected and now everything else becomes that height this it looks a little higher right here but I think I clicked more in the middle or something I don't know but um, okay so this this is just pull up down so you can make like giant you know uh, plateaus or depressions or whatever I was pretty close there and then this is a gradient tool and it opens up a second second window here and uh, you can create points like this Let's see how many we can make oh, I don't really want to swirly like that and cancel alright try again okay so let's see if we can just here hold on you feel like nailed the point? Yeah, you do. Okay. So, what do the end ones do? Do they just pull and drag or whatever? I don't really know, to be honest. So, that should create a gradient, which it didn't. Feels weird, man. Uh, I think I might have fucked something up there. I missed. I didn't click something properly. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so you can make, like, a nice old curve here. Um,. If you wanted to, and then don't really know what these do. I thought like if you if you pull up on these, I guess it moves the whole thing. If you pull up on the white here, it'll kind of raise the uh, the lay of the land. Preview that maybe. Does it actually do anything? What's going on here? Or is it? Am I not dragging? Uh, vertically as I might not be these might not actually be up in the area Z stays 128 so it looks like I wasn't actually doing anything there unfortunately what about the blue do those do those go up and down 
I'll get the mouse on it. There you go. Let's see. Uh, oh, I have to press shift. All right, shift, yep. Yeah. Oh, absolutely insane. So you can make like a, a nice smooth jump here. If you wish. And it looks so it looks I mean that looks like shit, but obviously you have to get a little more experience with it. So that just kinda ruined the whole fucking thing right there. But uh this this is just a small example of what you can do with the gradient tool. You can do very fine things with it. But usually I don't I don't mess around with that. If you want to get fancy you can. It's a good tool. So uh over here I'm just gonna show you guys So here's the water level and I'm actually gonna raise that so you can see it. The whole track's underwater if you go over like one twenty one twenty five or something, I forget. But I'm gonna make it close because I want it to be like a really easy thing to do here. I want it I want the water to show up quickly. So it'll be like a shallow beach and I want it Go over one, not 105. I wanted 110. Let's see. What? No, I didn't press that. There, I pressed that. Okay, that. So that's 110. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tool, and I'm going to just uh, like kind of. Well, it's going to be hard to do with that. You can change the size of the tool right here so this is like two am I using uh, the circle tool? I guess I am, okay well maybe I should make it one or something, I don't know, fuck it okay so that's a little low uh, I'm gonna make it, this, this is tool strength, I'm gonna put this at like three There. So now it's a little more shallow, I guess. So I will take, let's see, I'll take this and I will set it like here, and then everything else will conform to that, right? Or did it not fucking do it? It didn't fucking do it. Okay, classic shit. Right here. Okay, now everything else. Come on. What the f are you fucking serious? What's happening now? All of a sudden it like doesn't want to go. Okay, that's kind of fucked. Okay, go back. Just go to five. Okay, so here we go. Select level, right click. Okay, there I clicked. Ah, that's much better. Okay, that just fucked everything up. And what if I do like right here? I mean, this is not a professional example. This is more or less just to show that it can be done. I mean, if you if you wanted to do it way shallower, what you could do raise the water level. This is just me screwing around and showing you guys what it's like. So, yeah, if you if you really want to lay on the thickness, you adjust this. That way, it'll be a lot touchier. So like when you click something, it'll be more susceptible to change. If you lower it, it won't be. And then this is tool size, kind of like roller coaster tycoon. So this is forward and back. This is um, this will toggle what the land looks like. So this is nothing. This is like all height map basically. This is with the track what it'll look like. This is just a grid, and then you can toggle a grid. Uh, you can actually walk around if you wanted to. So let's see, here's the arrow over here. I want to go down here. So this will take me over to the beach. This this tool is actually interesting. Doesn't seem like it's that hard to screw around with, but it's interesting. So um, here I am at the beach. Very cool. Look at me. Go for a swim. Alright. And then you can adjust walk speed here. And uh, this will adjust vertical angle. So you could if you watched earlier it'll, it'll point your face down but if you don't want it to you can tell it not to so there's that it's interesting and then this is um, 
this is the nose rubber. This is an object editor, so if I had objects placed, I could fuck around with them. So, uh, in this window, let's see. Oh, shit, get the fuck off. I could probably click things, group them or something. Right? Or not. Can I not do the starting? I guess I can't change the start. Okay, but these are these are just objects that you can place, so I guess I should have put some down. I didn't know this was going to be a thing, though. But anyway, you can edit them in this editor, not as extensively as you really can in the uh, track editor. And then this is like a list of things, and then this is, uh, that's edit objects. And then this is to toggle them, if you want them on or off. off okay, sorry, on, transparent, or off. That can come in handy. So... Anyway, um, so I'll screw around a little more. I'll pull the tool out wherever it was right here. And I'll have this circle like this, and we're going to increase this to like, okay, 10. Why not? It wants 10 for some reason. So I'm going to position it right here, smack dab in the middle, or at least as close as I can get it. Oh, shit. Now there's water. <laughs> Okay, but that's a disappear. Okay, so, well, it's not completely gone. Oops. Okay, there. That'll, that'll do, I guess. Okay, and then we'll shrink it, and ar around the edges here, we'll try to make, like, some type of a berm. It doesn't, that doesn't look very good, to be honest. Um, probably should lower the strength. Maybe increase this a little bit. Okay, so now what you can do is you come in here with the smooth tool. You can smoothen it out so that middle lake area receded, and you can kind of get the berm in how you want it. You really want to drag kind of through the middle of the track or where you want the turn to be effective. So, um, you know, I, I want the middle of this turn to be like the flat spot, and so that's where I click and I drag, and then it'll anything in the in the radius with this tool will be affected by it. So, uh, okay, so that was that was simple enough. Um, that's just these are very minor things. This is this is just cosmetic over here, and then this will actually this will affect the race. So, I'll go ahead and save save the whole track. This is demo track, and so now that I'm done fucking around with this. Get that shit out of here. Go back to the track editor. Go back. Hello? Go back to the track editor. Are you serious? This is not happening. Oh, it's fucking happening. Okay, there it is. God damn. Thanks, OBS. Okay, so anyway, uh, here we are. You want to be ultra sure that you load the track again because now you can see there's white. And there's water here, and everything's great. It, it changed. If if you don't do that, and if you save with the old track, it's just going to overwrite everything you just did in the uh, in the HMAP editor. So be be sure of that. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to add some objects now. So we got all types of shit. I don't know if you can see this list here. It's a, a drop down list, but we'll go ahead and add. This starts. These usually I like to be pretty spot on with these, but uh, I mean whatever. This time around, we'll just say fuck it and didn't just do a good enough job. So you want to start with the first one because every time you click, they change. This is really close together, so. Whatever, I'm just going to save it. Okay, so, yeah, like, the first one you click, it might say 6, but every time you click, the position rises. So, like, if I if I wanted to set 1 there, I would have to set that here, and now they'll stagger like that. But it's supposed to be that if you start in the front and you go to the back, 1 will always be in the front. Unless you want 1 in the back, then you can do that. So, uh, I suppose it's good. All right, so now for actual objects. Uh, so these people, for some reason, I hate this shit. They'll take tires, wherever it is, sunk tire, and they will place them uh, 
like in corners and I hate it I don't know why people do that it's just so you don't cut them that's the thing so there's like a penalty if you if you take it too sharp and that's you know that's okay I don't like it uh, I'd rather just be able to cut the corner to be completely honest like um, if you're trying to make a pass instead of taking the outside line you know which is most of the time really inefficient and you can't retain speed because there's some other car in the way or the tracks tight or you know some other dumbass reason like that um, you can't pass I so that's, I, that's why I say fuck that shit but you can't have it wide open you can't I mean with the use of limiters you can for sure and you could use like signals on the road for instance um, I could place like booths so like here and here and then I could go to a uh, checkpoint and I could drag a checkpoint and now okay now you have to go through this checkpoint right you could have it like that but I'm not gonna do that so uh, I'm not gonna go nuts with trees for some reason I like trees I want the first one I want to do is a forest with power lines the second one was just like a snowy like pine area <laughs> so uh, Here's what we'll do, not gates, we'll put stands in. So stands, uh, the, the yellow line here is the front of the stands. That's what the, the audience will be looking at. So put one here and uh, put one over here kind of. If, it, if you have it stick out the map like this, you'll actually see the model stick out of the map too. And I, it looks okay, you don't really have to you know, tweak it that hard or anything, so. Alright, so this is just OCD nonsense, or not OCD, but like perfectionist shit. Let's see if we can get one here. Yes, okay, cool. Okay, so you're just, you're gonna see a lot of stands. Um, so, wall, concrete walls I hate because you slam into them at max speed and it fucks everything up. Soft walls are good. I like these, so I'm going to put some of these in. Uh, we'll zoom in for this. It's, these things are... Uh, they line up with pixels. So I'm going to try to make like a... Starting here. Like a barrier. Like this. Place, place them inside each other like that. So now it'll look like one giant one, uh, and I I have them lined up pretty much at like a, a perfect angle. So go ahead and save just to just to save invisible wall. That's what it is. The there's an arm co barrier. I need hold on. I need to see if you guys can see this. So if I click this, yeah, you can't see it. Uh, so I guess I'll go through each one. Then I'll just press like mouse or whatever. So. You have your start, your concrete, your soft wall, the invisible wall, it's exactly what it sounds like. The Armco barrier is like the it's like a guardrail, and the, the dark orange is the way that it faces, then the, the light tan is the back of it. Hay bale is a hay bale. Fence is a wooden fence. Uh, fir tree is the piney tree. Leaf tree is the uh, for those really tall ones with all the leaves like kind of at the top. Pine tree the heck do these look like? They they almost look like palmy. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, palm tree is a palm tree. Cactus is a cactus. Bush is a bush. Uh, you can also orient the way that they look. I usually just have them all face the same way because it doesn't really matter. But some people get OCD about it. The bush is the bush. Hedge is like a wall. Uh, then you can make like a short hedge here if you want. Um, I think it just means like the length is shorter. Traffic sign, that's the yield sign. Uh, light is the light post. Telephone pole is telephone pole. This fucking thing I hate. People love to put these things on track sometimes. If you smack into it, you're fucked. I'm not putting any of that. Road cone, um, these are the ones that you cannot pass through. The blue ones you can. Stone, that's, you'll launch off of that if you drive into it. Tire, same thing. Booth. Um, these are... I thought it was a different color initially. Okay, anyway, a booth is there's kind of like really tiny buildings with one door on them. House is a house. Office block, that's those like white and what are they? They're like white and blue buildings. 
I'll put one just to show you what it looks like, like right here. And then you can make a short one, just meaning it's this is tall, tall in parentheses or in quotes. Uh, so short is short, and then office block small is just smaller. So I'll put, I'll make it pixel perfect, line it right up, just like that. And they're not touching. Okay, so a stand's a stand. You know what that is. Gate is I. I will put one, and I will. Well, that's a shitty spot because of the oil. We'll put one right about here. I'd say. So the where the black is on the gate is the the uh, support. So you want to have those off the track. Remember I said in the beach track they're on the on the track. So that's a that's a no no. Don't do that, please. I mean you can, but please don't do that. So anyway, they're just cosmetic. They don't do anything. You can put your uh, checkpoints under them to look cool if you want. Whatever. Uh, so gate's a gate. Boat is just a yacht. Might as well put one for funsies. Pier is like it's just a pier, you know. Make it look like maybe this guy's tied tied off here. So I mean, you would never tie off a boat like that, but. Alas, uh, I thought I clicked bridge. Okay, bridge is um, it actually is a bit of a ramp. It's in one of the default courses, so you drive up onto it. Like you go up a hill, then you're flat, then you go down a hill. So kind of like a tabletop, but it it actually is a bridge. It'll go over land depending on which side's where. Flat bridge is just the same thing except flat kind of harder to use um, see it doesn't have the angles in it it's just it's flat pedestrian bridge is cosmetic I have one on the snow track it just looks good uh, a person you can place anywhere you want and you can angle which way they're facing this is a little more critical than trees if you want to go for a sense of realism I'm gonna put one guy here on the dock I'm gonna have him like he's not watching the race is just a uh, mining zone business. So that's it. That's that's all the objects. So anyway, uh, we'll go ahead. We'll put some trees in. We'll put. Let's see. I won't do firs because those are the pines. I'll do like a leaf tree. Like put a couple, maybe like around the back side of the lake here. Like one more right there and one more right there. So see, they're all facing the same way, but. They'll just they'll kind of mesh together. It'll look good. And then they, here's the pine. It's when I said fir is a pine tree. A fir a fir is a fir, but you would more commonly refer to it as a pine. And you'll see right here the pine looks different. And I'll put those just back here. I'll line the track like this. Just a little little extra. -y. No palms though. No cactus. I'll put some bushes. Uh. Like a couple like here, maybe. No, that that's that's shitty. Because if you take the turn wrong, you'll slam into them. So, uh, put them down here. How about that? So, unlike with uh, trees, how it's just a trunk. The bushes, like this circle, is pretty much the whole bush, and you'll you'll feel it if you touch it you won't pass through it You're, you'll pretty much come to a stop so traffic sign I don't really use these like ever but uh, put one like right here maybe I think these things orient sideways I don't really know to tell you the truth um, no lights, no posts, no cones. I mean, we could do cones, maybe like around the edge here. You can angle these. You can make it look, you know, like flush with the outside curve here, but I won't do that. And uh, these, they're gonna look really spread out. It's gonna look kind of weird, but like these would not protect you if you were about to go off the track. So keep that in mind. And they're all going to be facing the exact same way. So, uh, and we'll have one booth. I don't know which way this thing faces at all. 
and we'll put it like just up like here I guess I don't know oh okay that's that's good enough um, so I'll save yep clap all right so the pretty much the last thing that we're gonna do here is s start the AI line so the AI line I don't know if this thing affects it at all I doubt it oh it totally does doesn't it let's see oh yeah oh, oh yeah Oh yeah, it does. Okay, so the brush does affect it. So we'll put that like here then. Okay, so we'll stop. And you want to kind of treat when you make the AI line. You don't want to have it right out of the start. Uh, usually, a good place to put it is like on a straightaway where you start it. So you come out of this turn, and you're gonna want to be kind of out here. So we'll put it here, and then. Let's see, crank it up a little bit. Oh shit, maybe not. Crank it down, maybe. Okay, avoid the oil if possible. Hopefully, none of them slam into that bush. That's not good. Alright, something like this. Take the inside. Oh, that's kind of a tight turn. Hopefully, they'll know how to do that. Okay, so that I've, it's not perfect. Uh, that's more or less a demo, and I I'm not happy with this. I don't I don't want them near the pit because I'm going to show you guys the pit line now that functions. So I'm going to delete everything here. So you, oops, shit. You can actually if you wanted to have have the track like this they'll follow this line and they'll, they'll smack into the stands but then you're just being an asshole so all right so let's see snake around there no they'll hit the bail so. oh man that's tight okay they'll they'll do it they'll make it happen they'll skid around Okay, that's okay, because if, if I go one more, it'll make this kind of derpy. Oh, no, that worked. Okay. Okay, so one thing I'm going to do as well is uh, don't not start. Where is it? It's checkpoint. Okay, so the very last checkpoint that you lay down is going to be the finish. So keep that in mind. Don't put it here. Don't do that. Uh, you need to put it last so let's see let's just say it'll be right here or like uh, I don't I don't really want it in the pit crew but I might I might just do that instead okay so um, first corner will be like here and then here and you kinda wanna put them in the objects because that encompasses everything so like if you're all the way out here or you're all the way in here your lap will still count you don't wanna needlessly fuck people over so I'll put that one right here with the cone as well that way it's pretty much guaranteed you'll take it um, I'll touch this I'll, I think I'm gonna put some hay bales in okay so here as well I should probably do that first to tell you the truth where the hay bales it is bales okay so oops didn't want that delete that okay um okay so I'm gonna line it up here so you can make it so that's that's the indicator that that's where the turn is same thing here same thing here Okay, so I'll do that. This is kind of like a natural uh, barrier here, so I'm going to leave that and then put bales here. That one sticks in a little bit to the crowd. I don't really care. Uh, let's see. Okay. should know not to go through there 
and they they're probably not all gonna look like one giant hay bale, but they'll they'll look like good enough. So uh, let's see back back to checkpoints. So we'll put one here because why not? Uh, actually, uh, for some reason, if you're outside of the goal, we'll make it so it's okay. Like if you get shoved off the track, you don't get fucked over because you didn't go through the post. That would be stupid. Okay, uh, so same here. Can't go through the building, so it doesn't matter. Got one here, one here, and then you're going straight now. So last one will be like right like this. So the line, the line is gonna follow this. It's gonna look like sideways. Uh, which is kind of like you don't really want to have a uh, an oblique line as a finish line on a, like on any surface. I was gonna say straight away, but in a turn you wouldn't want it oblique either. You want it like you know straight across. But this is just kind of a demo. So well, someone will complain about it. So gotta appease the the tards. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll get another hay bale and put it just like this. All right. So be inside the hay bales and you're good. You can cut this corner to hell if you want. And I mean, you don't have to put uh, checkpoints to punish someone if they go here. You can just put hay bales like, just do this as an example. There, good enough. So now it's harder to cut through or... Um, do this. <coughs> Get creative, boys. Like this, this would be really easy to blast through. But I do something like that. I don't. It doesn't matter. It it looks like shit, but okay, it'll work. Okay, so there's the AI line, and then what you need to do too is have a pit line here. So usually, I I start my pit line before the end before the start so something kinda like this and they'll follow this and then have them return back out onto the course delete that last part okay so it's this is a little sloppy you don't you don't want them going through these circles uh, only because let's just say okay you blast blast through right and you're you are right here on the edge of the circle and you're the first one to pit okay now they're following their pit line and they're gonna probably smack into you I mean they'll they'll try to avoid you but it's it's highly possible they'll hit you so it's not the greatest drawing I just kinda wanted it like out of the way and it was the rope to blame the rope so so now they know they know how to do everything if I press save there's now I'm not getting an error message that says uh, you need to fix this and fix this or whatever. It's just like, okay, well, here's our track. So I'm going to go demo it now because it's done. So I'm going to click, get this shit out of here, get that shit out of here. Uh, I'm going to press launch gene rally in the game. Oh, hold shit. One more thing I need to show. Um, okay, so this red spot here you need to fix because from the, from the very start of the race, um, the a the AI like right when the the green light comes, they are gonna dash towards the end of the red line in whatever direction that they are going. So, uh, you you got to be sure that you line this up properly, and that's I know that through trial and error. It's it's annoying. Trust me. So, um, yeah. Anyway, when the when the shit starts they'll just go right here and then they'll follow their their route instead of trying to blast through the stands here so, so now we'll save I forgot to mention that earlier uh, we'll go over here to launch gene rally hopefully it launches it didn't fucking launch there it goes okay and then we'll go to not nope stop mouse please stop that we'll go to demo work in progress oops Ooh, there's our track, boys. We made that. Okay, so that, remember what I was saying earlier? If you look up in the uh, top left there, that's the pine. That's not fucking pine. 
And then you look in the middle and that's a leaf tree. So whatever, it works. And then look you can see the little guy on the dock, there's the boat. There's our gate. We made it. The hay bales look pretty okay too. I mean the ones in the middle at least, so you can't go through there, but uh what hold let me just change because I don't like it. This this track is functional right now. I'm changing something in the editor. See if you can spot it. But uh let's see where is it? Spoilers, I'm changing the sign. <laughs> okay, so they do angle downwards, I was wrong. So now you should see a nice big yellow yield. There it is. Alright. We are still live in action, right? Yeah, okay, good. Okay, so I have it set for a minute and two laps, so I'll just demo our little track here. Okay, nice, not bad. Hold on, I'm a, I'm a little too far up on my keyboard. The tray is acting all fucky. So that that's something that I would change. Holy shit! Is the uh, that last turn there? I don't. I'm not a fan of it because you're you're flying into the pits now. See how the circles look huge, but where the actual crew stands is different from the the visual in the editor. So anyway, we should be getting our f laps in here. So that turn's pretty nice. You don't have to brake on that turn, you can just fly into it. Ah, shit. Alright, nice. I'll, I'll show something off, too. Just a sec. So, let's see, I had this set up on purpose, in case you're like, oh shit, I got pushed off the track, oh no, I took a bunch of damage, oh man, I'm going so slow, hopefully I don't lose a bunch of time for this, let's get your damage away, okay, great, take off, oh, look at that, it works, so that's why I put that in, it is because you don't want to, you don't want to fuck over players for shit like that happening. For some reason, I thought I was pitting. Wow. Okay. Let me see if I can just cut some some dank ass laps here. Hit my nose. Oh shit! That was not very good. <laughs> okay. I need. Let's see. I can cut the grass like right. Oh shit! No, I can't. Cause then you'll hit the oil. So. Wow. That was dumb. I don't want it to be to where you can just shoot right through the grass and not have to take that turn, so I put the bales there. And that's just my that's my design. You guys are allowed to design your tracks however you want, but oh, fuck's sake. Okay, so I might consider if this were me, if I were gonna, you know, really polish this track. I might adjust that hay bale down there at the bottom to where maybe you can just barely cut it like barely like this maybe these are not hot laps remember I said I want to cut some hot laps oh for fuck's sake yeah, so, if anything, I would do that. Because everything else works well. Those trees aren't in the way. You know, I've been cutting that corner really tight. The post is good, the office buildings are good, the oil's good. I would move the pits. Um, maybe adjust the finish line, maybe, because I mean, it's in the fucking crowd. Like, maybe move the starts. Um... Uh, I don't know, just stuff like that. So, 
uh, that's that's really it. Let's see if our uh, AI here, which is uh, her, she's my dedicated tester, co co-pilot here. So, okay, let's see how she acts. Should be pretty good, actually. I drew her line to be well, not her line, the AI line to be pretty. Uh, Pretty flawless. Well, not around that corner. That one's not so good. <laughs> Maybe it's just the AI, because her AI is 75. So. Am I actually lagging on Gene Rally right now? Is this happening? I have like a trillion programs open, so maybe that's why. And the competition's in my blood now. Now I'm like actually racing. Oh. So maybe maybe the bale's in a good spot. Maybe you just have to get used to it. Okay, I think my crew chief's lying to me, so I'm gonna pit. Let's see how she pits. Let's see here. Yeah, so she'll go around. She tries. I think she hit the barrier there. I don't I don't know why, but. It, I win. You're stupidy dum dum. I win. Oh, okay. That's close. All right. Cool. So let's add some more people then. We don't have that guy. He's too good. We got a nice diverse cast. Alright, let's see how six cars operates. It's gonna be a fuck fest most likely. So they're struggling with each other. I'm taking it like a I don't know if I'd call it more optimal, I'm just kinda of taking my own route. And they they get stuck with each other because they're all the same AI. Oh, it's so loud. So maybe some adjustments could be made, it might be a little bit too easy to, to beat these guys. Maybe. I will admit I'm not the most experienced with creating pit AI. Well, they look like they did pretty well over there though. Let's see how the orange one does. Sorry, that she's not orange, she's red. It's the red arrow. I don't know why I pit, I just... <laughs> I stole her idea. Okay, so that was close, didn't hit the trees though. That was dumb. These guys will catch up if I keep being an idiot. Okay. I was watching them, I'm sorry. Okay, so this is the last lap actually, so I, I can't pit. I have to race with this bad end. Well, not really. There's not, there's not too much uh, area where you're going to be going fast. Like right here, you will, and right here, you can if you're good enough. And then obviously the last straight away. All right, cool. Red Barrel, last place. What the fuck? So it looks like they kind, they kind of have trouble around that last bend. I'll go ahead and rub my nose first of all. <laughs> okay, so now what I'll do is uh, go back over here to the track editor. No, they're look at this. They're pretty far away. What the hell am I talking about? So, the, oh, they do. They skid this because I made them skid that. Because I'm an idiot. Okay, well, let's go back in time here. Probably like right a little more. <laughs> right there. All right. Mm hmm. 
maybe they'll be better about this. They'll probably try to skid right here. And let's see. If I draw pit AI, oh, that look. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. And of course, I got to delete all that shit. So unfortunately, there's no like rotate AI line for the pit AI. You just redraw it if you fuck it up. But you have to click this every single time. So, oh man. All right. Well, let's see. I mean, they could take this better. They could take this better. This is okay. This looks like it would be really. I I gotta fix this shit. I can't can't go to my grave knowing that I was cheap here. Oh, don't do that. That's bad. Don't do that. That's bad. Stop. Okay, so now I'll come up here, and now they should take more of a straight, which is good. And this this technically is one big line. Look at this. So I'll have them go right there, because that's where I go. So I adjusted the AI line a little bit. This should have updated now. Well, no, you can check. If you're, if you're unsure, if you're playing a new track, you can just add an object and see if the map updated. But I'm smart, so I should be able to tell if the, uh, the if the eye is, is different as well. Let's see, it should be right around this turn that they act a little better. Though. It should be straight. Yeah, I mean, that's better. It's not perfect. They are, I, I'm noticing that they're closer to me. Could be just because I'm driving poorly, but... Maybe I should have them blast through the oil, like just ignore it. Maybe. Yeah, so they're still they're still a little amateurish. The thing is you you can't really have the AI set to take high risk, high reward, like, routes. And I'm not saying that there's many of those, but like right there, you can round the office, you know, really tight if you want to. Fuck this, go for it. Yeah, if, if you want, but the thing is, like, they'll fuck up sometimes. Or then they'll be too good and they won't take the normal route. It seems as if, like, tracks like this are probably more suited for actual players. Like, if you had friends over and you're like, let's, let's play some fucking Gene Rally, you know? Yeah. What the hell? Like smash? Okay. So, it's better. Um... What you do from here is just continue to fine tune. Like if if there was a problem one place or another, you know, like here, let's go back over to the editor. Okay, there it is. If there was an object in a bad spot, you would move it. If there was uh if the AI was fucky, which it still kind of is, you would change it. If you need to change the pit AI, you would change it. Now, let me show you something actually right here. The pit, you don't really want the pit AI and the track AI to overlap like that. Because now what will happen is when they pit, they're going to hit that purple line. And they're going to be like, oh shit, like, okay, go that way. But now they're on the inside, so it's kind of like traffic is weaving. And that's that's bad. Now... It's very slight. It's essentially the same line. Doesn't really matter all that much because you know the the body of the car is bigger than that line. But uh, for the most part, you don't you don't want that. You don't want to have things like that occurring. So, I mean, you can you can have it happen. Your track, not mine. So, this is our track. This is our word. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was from a best gamers video when they played NBA Jam. 
it's like dark gamers like our word all right so that's it um hopefully you enjoyed it you can get let me say this too you can get creative and you can you can implement little things that no one will really see uh i wouldn't call them easter eggs but like when you design a map you can put things in it and someone would have to come to an editor or find it or this or that and make it makes it a little just a little tiny bit extra fun like that's kind of what i did with the dock in uh the snow track it's accessible but barely uh that was for funsies so you can do things like that um one thing that people might not ever know there's cones behind the office buildings they're there you just can't see them so uh I don't know, just neato. And another thing I should say, you guys should probably experiment with uh, like track properties a little more. So I'll go ahead and click it. Uh, let's save. So view angle, you might want to change. Rotation, you might want to change. Maybe. Uh, personally, I'm I am very happy with just the the stock default angle. Um, you can edit the start finish line if you want to I who cares about that I, I always just leave it on um, and then there's author and author comments and it's there for you to change also track length got updated initially it was 0 now it's 403 I don't know how that's calculated but it's there now so um, anyway I'll go ahead and I know you guys can't see it but author it's me and comments made this for a YouTube tutorial. Uh, maybe one day it will be turned into a real track, but for now it is just a demo. Hence the name demo whip. Okay, and then I always date it, so it's 8 14 2017 at 1557. And I, I put that just because I don't want to fuck around with AMPM, so. Although they do have good snacks there. Kind of sad though, man. I said, like, one, maybe one day it'll be a real track, but for now it is nothing. Man, that's rough. Okay, anyway, that's it. Hope you hope you like it. Uh, I, I didn't even notice the trees down here. Hold 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 up hold up. Hold the fuck back to this game. Are they even in there? Here, fuck off, all of you. Oh, they're bushes. That's why. Interesting shit, dude. The car isn't actually underwater, as you can see too. And that's kind of how I intended it, is so it would be like shallow. You would know. Let's see if we can get it underwater. It'll make a different engine sound. It'll sound kind of like you're in reverse. Nope. I guess I designed it just how I wanted it. Okay. I mean, the beach would be a little smoother if I were. Uh, really intensive about it, but all right, very cool. Let's cut one lap and then we'll call it a day. Still haven't ever hit a tree. Feels good. Feels weird. I wasn't very hot. There's cones behind those office buildings, boys. Nice ass lap. Look at that shit. 58 seconds. Um, I will say this too. Every every time that you uh, overwrite a track the data gets erased there's probably some workaround for that with the track editor not the sorry not the in-game track editor there's another tool called track tool but uh, anyway enough on that shit um, okay tools used were track editor comes with the fucking game and then there was the hmap editor I think that was like from Juan, Juan's tools, I think he made that, something like that, but uh, if you want it, you can find it on the forums, you gotta, you gotta dig for it a little bit, 
or just ask me, I'll upload it, no problemo. I got the car editor, I got the palette changer, I got the I got a bunch of shit for this game. So if you want it, I got it. Most likely. Maybe not. We'll see. Just ask. Alright, that's it. Hopefully you learned something. Alright, see ya.